Welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. In today's video, I want to share with you how you can use VBA to merge cells. A lot of times you want to do that to help visualize your data. So this column has the dates unmerged and this is how it looks merged. Sometimes it's just much easier to look at. Um, and the simple code will uh, do that for you very quickly. So what the code does, it looks at the data here on column A, it copies it to column B and then merges column B. Um, and it works for dates or everything. So if I I have here that my data is a formula, but if I change this to AAA, for example, and merge, I get uh, the merge data like the like so. And as you can see, it doesn't matter how many rows, could be two, three, or much more. Let's take a look at the um, at the code itself. So it's not a very complicated code and you can really do it by yourself. So what do we have here? So I like to use worksheet as a parameter. So I have WD, uh, worksheet destination, usually I have WSWD and I just had that over left over from a different uh, code that I built. So it's the name of this sheet. Last row, this formula brings you the last row for column number one. This, this controls where which column will provide the last row. Uh, I like to use dynamic ranges so you're not blocked by the number of rows that you have. And as you can see what this code does, it looks at the second column, column B, unmerges it, then copies whatever you have in column A all through column B, and pastes it by value. Then I have this loop to merge the cells. Application display alerts false. That's important because every time you merge, um, you know, when you merge, it gives you this pop-up message, and I don't want that to appear every second um, that this code runs, so I, I um, removed the alerts by this code and then brought them back afterwards so it doesn't bother moving forward your work. Then I have this uh, a very simple for loop, um, j equals 2, that's just an integer, and I, another integer I'm using to help make this loop uh, work. So I equals between 2 till the last row plus 1. Basically, I want to go over all of these rows. And what I'm checking is if the row, uh, if the cell in column number 1 is equal to the cell one row but to the bottom of it, if that happens, then I want to merge. And what do I want to merge? Basically, all the cells on top. So what are, the, what are all these cells on top? I start with cell number two, which is this one. And every time the loop, every time the if is uh, entered, I'm actually giving J the value of the line that I was plus one. So if I, if I take all of these and then I'm, I is number four, then J will be five. And it will jump over here. That, so that's the simple loop for, uh, for merging. Then again, as I said, I'm taking out the display alerts. And just so it's a little bit more visually appealing, I'm going to merge, sorry, align, center, horizontal, and vertical column B. So that's pretty much it. That's the code. You can see how it works very quickly. Um, and if you enjoy the content, please hit that subscribe button, post a comment, like the video, everything like that will really help this channel grow. And I will see you next time. Take care.